Okay. So, first hello to all. Um, I've got here a wonderful person, Marlon. And my, we're here in uh, South Africa, in Johannesburg, where I met this amazing guy. And he's going to tell us uh, in a moment uh, about uh, his life and his story, which is amazing. And uh, it's all about peak performances. And you are one who really knows what, what a peak performance is and how to reach it. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your story, which is amazing, please? Thank you. Um, well, um, it's a story that you're talking about is more... Thank you very much, firstly, for having me. Um, and um, one thing... I've, I'm, a, I'm a judo player. Um, I've been practicing judo well over 20 years of my life. Mm -hmm. um, at, at, at a high level, um, I've, always, I've actually never been really good at the sport. I, was, I, I lost most of my life. It was interesting. It's like, um, but the, obviously there came up. There's a tipping point always yeah. um, as we try and strive for something. Um, I went to Beijing for South Africa. Um, in and the at the Olympic Games. In the Olympics. Yeah, that's an important thing, yeah. right? Not <laughs> <laughs> just over, just yeah. okay. In the Olympics. Yeah. For which country? For South Africa. For South Africa. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, after that, I retired because. Judo is not very well sponsored in this country. Yeah. Um, only when you're like at an elite level do they start supporting, and then and then that's only short lived. Yeah. Um, so then, by age of 26, I retired um, and went to normal life. Started making money, normal yeah. life, and um, then four years later, I mean, it's like I lost my passion. I lost. I was I was making money. I was living. Got married. You know, I'm, I'm living the life, yeah. in inverted commas, you know, bought a fancy car and all that stuff and it just seems sort of empty. Yeah. Um, even though I, I love my wife, I love my family, but what happened then, I sort of lost my passion and then I decided slowly, I don't know, something edged me towards um, back going back to judo um, and it was just like a national championships that was here and, I, and my coach just called me up, he says, Marlon, I need you to come and help me because these guys suck <laughs> we need someone to win this championship to, to win the championship yeah. team so I was like okay cool I'll be there and we went and I, I and I won the national championship wow. um, and as a team we also won the, 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 the team championship and I was like okay then we're like he looks at me he's like well, what if I try this all over again I mean like you're 50 years old now um, you'll be 34 you should be able to do it and yeah. I was like we'll see what happens so um, to answer your question on yeah. like the how to get to your peak performance. Yeah. So what do you think? How did you? How do you reach your peak performance, especially in those states where you really have to be very focused? Like you were saying, you were really have to go through a lot of battles to go to, to be able to attend uh, the Olympics, right? That's what I heard. Yeah. So how do you reach your uh, peak performance in those uh, situations? Well, in, in in that specific situation, the the one thing is like I just. I don't worry about the peak performance. Okay. It's 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 I, it's a goal in my head, and I stick to that, and I just have this 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 image of clarity in my mind of, of where I want to get to. And at that stage, now we're talking 2012, was 2016. And I was like, I'd love to do that again. And in Rio, man, what a party! I have to go there. And I just got really enthusiastic about that. And then I started enjoying the process, mm. which was literally. I mean, I train, I, I, I live in Johannesburg, I train in Pretoria, and that's about a 50 kilometer yeah, okay. distance, yeah. um, of which is mostly, and I mean, I work, so... Also, so yeah, just so, in addition. Yeah. So, so, okay. so I had to wake up in the morning and run, and then get to training later, do gym, um, after peak traffic, you know, and, and, and then um, train like two hours with other people who've been resting the whole day, yes. you know, yeah. um, and mostly students. So it was very interesting, but I think the, the whole thing about how to get to peak performance is just to enjoy what you're doing right now, um, and and enjoy the process towards it. You don't. I never knew what was necessary because the difference between 2016 and 20, um, 2008 was like worlds apart. Because okay. before in 2008 we could we could qualify through Africa, mm. so we had African qualifying tournaments, which means we didn't have to travel that far. Yeah. But 2016, we needed to travel the world circuit, mm. and that means you needed to be in Europe, you needed to be in South America, you needed to be 
in Asia, you need to be Australasia, you need to go all around the world. I mean, like I did like a tour, like I, I competed in South Africa, then a week later competed in Mauritius, and then a week later competed in in, in Austria. I mean, not Austria, um, Australia, and then a week later after that was in Japan. Wow. So I mean, time zones, all that stuff, it was crazy. So then, but that, so what, what I guess, what I understand, first you have to uh, add to your normal life, which is work and family and all that stuff, this additional work, right? yeah. this focus. Yeah. And second, you had to compete so many times. And in these moments, you had to be very focused. Sure. Uh, so probably, I guess, you were kind of trained already to reach your peak performance very fast. Is that so? You see, this is where I think this is where a team comes into play. Okay. Because you can never really do it all your own, you know. Uh, so like, okay. I, I, I don't think I'm actually I'm even though my, my 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 wife and my family they would say he's really focused, he's really driven, and, and anybody that looks from the outside. But honestly, I had people that kept me focused. Um, I had a coach that was like constantly on my back. If I was two minutes late for training, he'd be like, "Where are you?" If uh, if 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 I wasn't doing well, he'd kick my butt. I'd have teammates that would always encourage me to do better and be better, and and talk about being better. And I think when it comes to peak performance in oneself, you you gotta just allow the people around you to also who have the same goals, who have who have massive goals and dreams I mean we're sitting here in 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 Pretoria and we're like and we are we've got no money and we have to travel to to big competitions yeah. and backpack literally yeah. how do you get the courage to do that you, you and it's difficult to do it on your own okay so you lean on other people that have similar goals it doesn't necessarily have to be the same but yeah. similar goals Marlon, uh, if you, if somebody would ask you, uh, but what like, you're a very uh, also successful businessman, right? So you're really successful in the other other field, and sure. you're, you're getting better and better. Now. You were here in the training also, yes. and uh, what would you say to a person who who is kind of just let's say normal, whatever that means, yeah. right? In his life, in his business, in his uh, relationships, but he this person strives. To to reach more, yeah, better. What would you say? How to help this person to reach his goals, to reach his peak performances in a better way? What are one, two, three tips? I'd say first, if you know what your goal is, because I mean, you've got a goal, you've got a, maybe a business, or yeah. you want to reach something, you want to get something. First thing is, who's got what you want, mm -hmm. and and can you? If, if, if they're close, can you connect to them? And, and, and a simple thing for me, especially because after I came back from Rio, I was kind of at ground zero because it's funny enough, I, my business put me through the Olympic qualification period. Mm. After the Olympics finished, my business crashed because I, I, I basically neglected it over two years uh -huh. because I literally stopped working for two years. Um, so I ate my business dry. And then after that, um, I started at ground zero and I was like, now what you know and so what i did was i started i started connecting with people who who i want to who i trust who trust me who i can emulate and who i want to be a part of my team and i literally went to barry for example and i said i want to be a part of your team how can i do it and he is like well i don't really have money to pay you i was like well you don't have to pay me just teach me be can i be around you can i follow you can i watch what you do can i add value and i didn't know where that value was i had no idea so i said let me see how i can add value to you because this is how i'm gonna learn and this is how i can see where the gaps are so that i can add value and then maybe through that we can create a revenue stream for the both of us and he was like and he understands that better than i so he was like sure so i think the first thing is find the people who are doing better than you that 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 that, that are in a better position um a higher position in inverted commas and then try to connect with them and if you can't maybe read as much as you can around what these people did to have and then start taking those steps towards getting that that's the first step second step is and this is what I'm learning now is is to really serve you know try and serve as much as possible it's still my lesson I'm still learning because I tend to be I mean with, with sport and yeah. judo I, I'm a fighter You're so a I'm like the single one you know it's like me and you let's go <laughs> yeah. but with, in this it's like how can I give you more yeah. and, and when, you, when you empty out yourself there's so much more that comes back 
and in resources, in, in capacity, and you know, so um, who can you serve? Um, how can you actually add value to someone else? Not in your perception, in theirs. Um, and then, how can you just do like that one thing every day that's going to keep you in a positive state of mind? Um, gratitude. It could be gratitude. It could be maybe I'm going to run every day and do like some affirmations. You can maybe have a ritual of some sort. And just those simple things every single day, like small things, not these huge things. You don't wake up one day and and land a big deal. Yeah. There's steps that go towards it, you know? Mm. Um, I mean, I would have never thought that I'd be here with you. I could have never fathomed that. I was like, geez, when this is happening, I'm just, as it's happening, I'm like, this is creation, you know? Yeah. This is how we build. This is how... I, I would have never thought that. So I'd say literally, find someone better than you or someone that's doing more successful than you emulate them connect with them do whatever you can to get with them and, and help them I'm trying to add value to them in their mind and then thirdly just do those simple small things that will help add value to your to the things that you value be it your health be it your your wellness your mind state your, your state of mind things like that wow thank you so much Marlon thank you thank you so much for listening uh, it's amazing you know uh it's it's an honor meeting you, Thank you. and you're really a, we're are serving here and us and to help us grow more and um, it is amazing to see you How, what I, the stories I heard about you I mean it's coming f from flying over from kil a thousand kilometers over here yeah. meeting you I I didn't know that you, that I'm gonna see you meet, <laughs> exactly right. meet somebody like you with that that background and power so it's really it's always the thing is where can you find something what is different in your life or somebody who can sparkle you uh, and your missions and your ideas to help you get bigger and grow more yeah your business your family yeah. um, or yourself yeah thank you so much thank you thank you thank you